The Community Memorial Health System Speaker Series Online is brought to you by Mission Home Health. Mission Home Health and Hospice is committed to taking care of people by providing the highest quality, cost-effective care wherever the patient calls home. With over 14 locations, Mission delivers skilled home health, hospice, and palliative care services to more than 3,000 patients a day. As a preferred partner with several health systems, Mission works with providers to customize each partnership to provide exceptional coordinated care. Visit our website to learn more at www.homewithmission.com. We take care of people and one call does it all. Good evening and thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Dr. Alan Wagner and I'm a family medicine physician practicing at the Midtown Medical Group Urgent Care conveniently located next to the Community Memorial Hospital here in Ventura. We're excited you've joined us. We have an important topic this evening as we will be uh, discussing uh, when to go to the emergency room to seek medical care versus what's more appropriate for an urgent care visit. Uh, this is an important topic as we head into cold and flu season and the hospital uh, becomes busier. So thank you again for joining us. And after my presentation, Dr. Chris Johnson, who is an emergency medicine physician, will be joining us and talking about uh, some of the services offered in the CMH emergency department. Uh, but first, I'd like to jump in and talk a little bit about what is an urgent care and what are some of the services that we offer uh, at the clinic. So the urgent care can be thought of as, as a quick uh, convenience office visit where we can treat a variety of non-threatening life, uh, non-life-threatening medical issues. So some of these things that uh, we can treat include uh, severe colds, uh, flus, especially in the midst of the pandemic, we offer uh, point of care COVID testing and other viral testing which can be obtained. Uh, other complaints that are common this time of year, especially as kids are back in school, including fevers, sore throats, runny nose, a lot of these cold conditions can be seen and treated at the urgent care and don't necessarily require a visit to the emergency room. Uh, other common things such as earaches or concerns for ear infections uh, that are also common this type of year can be seen in the clinic. Uh, mild headaches and uh, maybe you have some, some chronic headache problems and you're having a flare up or uh, you know you didn't get a good night's sleep and you, your neck is bothering you or you're having back pains from the weekend and, and overdoing some gardening or things. Those are very appropriate conditions that we can see at the urgent care and uh, easily treat and, and manage there that may not require you to go to the hospital. Uh, perhaps you're at a sporting event and you have some bumps or bruises or minor cuts or lacerations that occur and you need uh, to seek care for those. Those are also things that we can uh, see at the clinic urgent care setting. We can do uh, minor laceration repairs, help to irrigate wounds and uh, make sure you know there aren't any further tests that need to be ordered as well and then along those lines if you have any musculoskeletal injuries such as a sprained ankle or you're having a, a flare-up of your shoulder pain from painting the house over the weekend or things like that we can see and treat at the urgent care setting as well uh, other common things that we'll see in the urgent care setting include uh, urinary tract infections, so if you're having some uh, pain with urination, uh, things like that that maybe you've had before and you just can't quite get in to see your family medicine doctor, uh, the urgent care is, is a great option for that as well. Uh, you can kind of think of an urgent care clinic as, as not a substitute for your primary care physician as you'll obviously build a close relationship with your primary care doctor and they'll get to know you very well and know your conditions, but there are times when you may not be able to get in with them right away and you have pressing issues that you would like to have addressed. That's where the urgent care can be really convenient, uh, where you can walk in without an appointment necessary and, and speak to a doctor uh, within an hour about what's going on. And, and typically we try to get you in and out within the hour and uh, uh, get you on your way. Uh, some other services that the local urgent cares can offer uh, include sports physicals as your kids may be heading back to school and starting back sports again. Sports physicals are offered on a walk-in basis. 
Uh, if you require any other specific physicals, such as Department of Transportation physicals, that is also offered at the urgent care. Uh, basic immunizations can be offered, things like uh, tetanus boosters, TB tests, or uh, any, perhaps you're going off to college and you need an update on your immunizations and you can't get in with your primary doctor right away. Uh, those basic services can be offered at our urgent care clinics as well. And then uh, a variety of the urgent care clinics in the Centers for Family Health System will, can also help manage workers' comp cases. So if you're injured on the job, what we recommend first is speaking to your employer as they are contracted with specific urgent care clinics and they can help guide you as to which specific one uh, they would like for you to go to as well. All right, uh, so as I mentioned, the urgent care is not necessarily meant to replace your primary care physician as obviously you have a very close relationship with them they know all of your medications and chronic conditions that you may have, but when one of those chronic conditions maybe is flaring up, you're, you have a history of some uh, lung problems and all of a sudden with the winds and the temperature changes, you may have some coughing or shortness of breath and you can't quite get in or maybe your doctor's out of town or closed for the day, the urgent care is, is a great place to come, uh, speak with the doctor and, and figure out a plan to help you get to feeling better uh, as soon as possible. Uh, if you don't have a primary care provider, that is also uh, a place where you can come to urgent care. We can help discuss a, a few of your most pressing issues that brought you in today. And then uh, there's also, of course, an opportunity to then be set up with a primary care doctor at, say, the Midtown Medical Group Clinic in Ventura where you can have a follow-up appointment with a family medicine doctor and take the time to really go through your health history, talk about other important things such as preventative health and updating all of your immunizations and just having a more uh, comprehensive discussion about your health that may not be uh, uh, able to all be squeezed in during that urgent care visit. So our goal at the urgent care is to again focus on that that complaint that brought you in to the doctor's office. And so our goal is to get you in and out of the clinic within about one hour time. So you might be wondering, well, that sounds great. What is it like to come to the urgent care? You know, what is this like? And the urgent care is really very similar to just the doctor's office. Uh, you'll come into the front desk. There's a waiting room. You'll check in there and uh, you'll be asked to wait until your time is up uh, and you'll be called to the back. You'll have your vitals taken and then the nurse will uh, gather a brief history and shortly after that the doctor will come see you. So the wait times can be uh, pretty short. Uh, any point of care testing that is needed can be done on site. So basic tests such as urinary tract infections, uh, basic blood tests such as hemoglobin, uh, those COVID influenza tests that are needed can be done on site and a variety of other tests can be obtained as well such as wound cultures and other things that can be sent out to the laboratory. Uh, that also includes testing for things such as uh, sexually transmitted infections as well. Now if you come to the urgent care and there are things that we may not be able to address on the spot but we can always send you to uh, a different laboratory such as the CMH Outpatient Laboratory or Quest Labs, where these issues may not need to be addressed emergently on the same day, but we can easily send you to the lab the same day or the next day and you can get your blood work done and we can have results within uh, two to three business days and follow up with you. And that's a great uh, a thing for uh, things if you need uh, other basic tests like a comprehensive uh, blood count or a comprehensive metabolic panel. Uh, any other testing that you might need, immunization titers, uh, sexually transmitted infection tests, things like that that take a couple days turnaround. Uh, we can always order, give you the lab slip and have you follow up at the lab. Uh, other services and things that we can help facilitate at an urgent care include uh, diagnostic imaging studies. So uh, many of the urgent care centers have x-ray on site. Uh, with the Midtown Urgent Care located conveniently next to CMH, 
we are able to utilize many of the radiologic uh, studies that can be ordered and completed at CMH or the outpatient imaging center. So things such as x-rays, ultrasounds, uh, basic CT scans, a lot of those things we can discuss with you and talk about having done uh, either the same day or in the next couple days to ensure nothing is going on uh, more serious. And of course, if we feel uh, you may need a more urgent examination, we can always refer you over to the emergency department uh, to have the test done there and to uh, allow you to be closely monitored as well. Uh, some of the differences between the urgent care and the emergency department. The emergency department is, is designed to get all the tests back and uh, kind of monitor you closely while you wait versus the urgent care setting is more of closer to an outpatient doctor's office where we must feel comfortable ordering these tests and allowing you to leave versus in the emergency department if you're coming in with chest pain or uh, weakness on one side of your body. These are very serious conditions where the doctors wouldn't feel comfortable letting you go home and waiting for the results of your tests. So in the urgent care, we focus more on non-life-threatening issues that we would feel comfortable allowing you to return home and uh, following up with you via phone call or having you come back to the office uh, if any other further follow-up is needed. Um, some advantages to the urgent care versus going to the emergency department uh, include the ease of going to an urgent care. Uh, as I mentioned, oftentimes the wait times can be less at the urgent care. We have many exam rooms available and oftentimes there are many uh, doctors and providers working to quickly get patients in and out and, and seen in an efficient manner. Uh, on top of that, uh, the insurance costs and, and co-pays and things for the urgent care are often uh, better compared to going to the emergency department. And, and so uh, the co-pays may be similar more to uh, an office visit or seeing your family medicine doctor versus having to go to the emergency department. So that's uh, one advantage as well. And if you're not sure, you can always come to the urgent care first and get evaluated and, and have a discussion with the doctor there and we can always guide you as to whether we feel this is something that can be managed on an outpatient basis or something that may be more appropriate to have you go over to the emergency room right away and if that's the case one advantage of the Midtown Urgent Care located on CMH's campus is that we can streamline your visit to the emergency department and give the doctors a call. We're always in uh, constant communication with them to give them a, a heads up as to what's going on, uh, what we think is going on, and that way when you get to the emergency room, uh, the doctors there are able to efficiently uh, talk with you and order further testing and uh, try to figure out what's going on to get you feeling better. Uh, with that said, one of, the, one of the main things when trying to decide between going to the urgent care or going to the emergency department is really just trusting your gut. Uh, if you're an otherwise healthy young individual and maybe you don't take any medications or have any other medical conditions and you have something that seems rather minor and non-life threatening, the urgent care may be a great place to start. However, if you maybe recently had surgery or have been hospitalized recently or uh, take several medications for some of your chronic conditions and are having anything concerning such as uh, shortness of breath or chest pain or uh, maybe you're on blood thinners and you have a cut that won't stop bleeding or any other things that you think are very serious really just trust your gut and uh, decide whether the urgent care or emergency department may be better for you and always keep in mind that if you are experiencing something life-threatening the best thing to do is going to be to call 911 to get immediate medical evaluation and transportation to the emergency department. Now, if you're not sure as to whether the urgent care would be the best place, one last alternative would be you may try calling your uh, family physician to get some guidance from them as to whether they may be able to get you in in, a, in the coming days since they know your health history well or whether they may recommend you uh, proceed to the urgent care or emergency department. Um, 
So uh, if you need more information as to where our urgent care clinics are located, uh, head on over to our website at Community Memorial uh, Health System. It can be found at cmhshealth.org. And on there, you can find all of our locations. I mentioned the Ventura Midtown Medical Group Urgent Care location. We also have locations in Camarillo, Oxnard, Santa Paula, and all of the addresses and hours can be conveniently found at cmhshealth.org. Uh, Thank you all so much for joining us this evening to talk about an important topic of when to go to the emergency room and when to utilize your local urgent care. Uh, we hope you found this presentation helpful, especially as we head into the cold and flu season and winter time. Uh, if you need any more additional information, head on over to our website, cmhshealth.org, and you can find more information there about the urgent care hours and locations. Thank you, Dr. Wagner, for that excellent presentation on urgent care services we provide here at Community Memorial Hospital. My name is Dr. Christopher Johnson. I am an emergency room physician here at CMH. I've been here for over 20 years now, and I'm here to talk to you all this evening about when it's appropriate to use the emergency department versus going to the urgent care or even your primary doctor. Oftentimes, it's very hard to decide when to go to the emergency department or in urgent care. So which one do you use? Um, deciding between an urgent care facility and the emergency room depends largely on the type of illness or injury that you're experiencing. But to put it simply, the ER is meant to provide fast, life or limb saving care. Conditions like the common cold, skin rashes, can be treated at an urgent care facility, while more serious conditions and life-threatening situations require emergency medical attention at one of our emergency departments. Emergency departments are typically staffed uh, by board-certified emergency physicians. These physicians have gone through medical school and then have undergone an additional three to four years of training after medical school. Um, emergency departments have advanced imaging capabilities such as CAT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, etc. Also, what's unique to the emergency departments is we have an extensive call panel of specialists who we can consult about your care. So if your care is more complicated than we can handle ourselves, we have a whole team of physicians backing us up. Emergency departments also have triage, which is unique to the ERs, uh, which urgent cares don't have. So we select the sicker patients first and bring them back. And what patients don't often see is that our back door, there are ambulances coming in as well. And so those are prioritized before the less sick patients that are in the waiting room. So we like to remind our patients that sometimes you will be waiting longer periods of time depending on the severity of your illness. Also, we are open 24 seven, meaning our doors never close. In addition to that, we never refuse service to anyone in the emergency department. It doesn't matter if you have insurance or don't have insurance or what kind of insurance, we're here for you. Emergency department care, of course, is definitely more expensive than urgent care um, costs. And that is something to consider, especially if you're paying out of pocket or if you um, have high co-pays. Urgent cares, on the other hand, are staffed by either family practice doctors, uh, sometimes internal medicine doctors, who specialize in primary care. They're often staffed with what we call advanced practice providers as well, so nurse practitioners and physician assistants, and they have some limited lab and imaging capabilities. At urgent cares, you're often seen by the time of your arrival there, or you can make appointments at certain urgent cares. It's more of a first come, first serve process. They have limited hours of operations. All of them are a little bit different, so check our website to see the times. They are also less expensive. And you can be not denied care at urgent cares based on your insurance. So check with urgent care to see if they accept your uh, type of insurance. Common urgent care complaints that they can treat include allergic reactions, asthma, back pain, bladder, urinary symptoms, conjunctivitis, pink eye, diarrhea, ear infections, 
fever and flu-like symptoms if they're mild to moderate, injuries, insect bites, animal bites, lacerations, migraines, mild concussions, nausea, pneumonia, rash, sinusitis, sore throat, sprains and strains and upper respiratory infections, and vomiting and wounds and abscesses. So in contrast, the emergency room, when to decide, is, is there an injury or an illness that's life-threatening? When life is on the line or if pain is severe or sudden, there's no question that a 911 call or a trip to the nearest emergency room is the right course of action. What I always say is trust your gut. If your instinct or your motherly or fatherly intuition tells you something is serious, it probably is, and you should go to the nearest emergency room. And don't hesitate. Examples of true emergencies include chest pain or chest pressure, uncontrolled bleeding, sudden or severe pain, coughing or vomiting blood, difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, slurred speech, sudden diz dizziness, weakness, or changes in vision. Severe or persistent vomiting or diarrhea, changes in mental status such as confusion, seizures, or severe cold or flu-like symptoms. Community Memorial Health System has two campuses. We have the Ojai Campus uh, Hospital and the Ventura Campus Hospital. There are two emergency departments that we staff. The emergency department in Ojai is much smaller. It's six beds, but oftentimes much less busy. We typically uh, do not keep patients in the Ojai hospital, and those patients are seamlessly transferred to, to receive care at our community memorial hospital if they do require further treatment and admission. The Ventura campus has approximately 35 beds, and we see close to 180 patients a day on average at this campus. We are a stroke center and a STEMI receiving center, meaning that we have physicians on staff 24 seven if you have a heart attack or stroke who can provide all the care that you need here at this facility. In addition to this, we have several urgent care clinics in Camarillo, Oxnard, Santa Paula, and Ventura communities. Our team. Our team in the emergency department includes board certified ER docs who work at both campuses, both Ojai and Ventura. In addition to this, in Ventura, we have a super track to care for some of our less acutely ill patients. And this is typically staffed by advanced practice providers, physician assistants, who are overseen by our emergency doctors. We also have emergency trained EMTs and nurses, and we have an extensive call panel of certified specialists ranging from general surgeons to interventional neurologists. I always like to tell people what to expect when they arrive to the emergency department. Upon arrival to the emergency department, you will be greeted by security who will ask you some very basic questions um, about COVID and, um, and your reason for visiting. The EMT will take your vitals. You will be seen by a registered nurse who will assign you an emergency severity index score. This is a score that lets us know how sick you are and how quickly we need to bring you back. In addition to this, at this time while visiting the nurse, you may be seen by provider simultaneously. Sometimes if you have a relatively minor problem, we can examine you right there on the spot and discharge you, and so you don't need to come back to the main ED. If your problem does require a bed, you may have to wait in the waiting room for a bed. Lab may be drawing you while you're waiting, and x-rays may be done while you're waiting for that bed. Lab and urine testing typically results in about an hour. X-rays also result in about an hour. CAT scans and ultrasound typically take a little bit longer, maybe an hour and a half. In summary, if you're having a life or limb-threatening emergency, 
don't hesitate to call 911 or go to your nearest emergency room. If you're unsure and it's during business hours, call your primary care provider for same day appointments or speak with their staff regarding advice of where to go. If it's after hours and you're unsure where to go, many insurance plans such as Kaiser, HealthNet, and Anthem Blue Cross do provide a 24 hour advice line which has a trained nurse to answer your questions and may be able to help direct you where to go. Again, we are always here for you at CMH and we look forward to caring for you. Thank you for joining us today and for more about emergency services available at Community Memorial Health System, you can learn by visiting our website at cmhshealth.org. Thank you and have a great evening.